Hey guys, I'm Simitos Ken, and welcome back to Sakura! Sakura-chan! In the last episode, we had a nightmare, and then we laid around naked on our bed, and then our commander came in, or whatever, and was like, oh my, and it was awkward, and now I've been put on guard duty in the castle, and I am watching the councilman have a debate that's super boring, and I've let my mind wander, and I'm trying to see who I can farsi right now. And see, they're still talking about guards and crap. And oh, they're still talking about we simply have no soldiers. They're just talking about recruiting. Oh Jesus! Sorry that I mean this. These guys really are talking just a bunch of crap. All right, let's see. Here, this guy's back again. Just bear with it a while, a bit longer. We're almost out of here. Sure enough, the councilmen rise from their seat. Does that does that conclude our business here, gentlemen? All voices call it an agreement. Very well, as always. We'll meet again next week. Manage your own ministry matters until then. As I shuffle out, I can hear a sigh of relief escape from my fellow guardsmen. I'm off duty now. No more time. No more wasting time listening to them. I'm out of here. He's good to his word, leaving you the care of the world. I wish I were so lucky. I wanted to far see someone. I thought I was going to get to see something, you know? I still have to patrol the hallway hallways. My very soul feels like it was being sucked out by their droning. Dot, 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 dot. The hall seems to stretch on forever as I drudge up and down them. Must I walk down these halls for eternity? It feels like eternity, to say the least. My first day as a guardsman hasn't been that great. <coughs> oh, yeah. All it has to offer is standing still for long periods of time and listening to the councilmen argue among themselves. I'm not too happy about Kira doing this to me, either. I was kind of, expect I was kind of expecting to see the Empress. Why wouldn't she be there if, a council control Wait, if the council controls the Empire? Does she take an interest in what's happening to her empire at all? Oh well, I guess it has nothing to do with me. I just have to do my duty as a guard, patrolling, standing to attention. Come to think of it, it's about time to leave. The change in the guard will be happening soon. As I'm about to leave, I hear something moving behind me. A ghostly looking woman appears before me. She's wearing clothing suggesting she's nobility of some sort. She appears so uh, her appearance is so striking that it leaves me dumbfounded for a moment. Excuse me, guardsman. Could you please help me with something? Her voice is soft and practically emotionless. It takes me a moment to get over my shocked, my shock and respond. Y yes? My pet has become lost in these halls. Could you help me find him? Her pet? What kind of pet is it? You'll know it when you see it. It doesn't really help me, you know. Do I even want to waste my time finding it? Alright, help find it. Wandering around the halls, I look for signs of her pet. She really described its appearance, though. Simply tell someone that if they that they know it when they saw it isn't good enough. I suddenly stop when I hear meowing. It's a small, furry black cat hiding behind one of the curtains. There you are. I've been looking for you. Oh yeah, kitty, get it! Get it, kitty cat! Approaching the creature, she picks it up and takes it over to a nearby chair. The tiny cat bounces up onto her chest. Letting out a happy meow. Nuzzling her face, it gets comfortable and looks like it's going to fall asleep. I'm not sure if the noble woman is relieved or not. Her face is completely emotionless. Thank you for your assistance, Scarsman. You look strangely familiar to me. Where have I seen your face before? I don't think we've met before, my lady. Aha! My destiny is preceding me once again! <laughs> is that so? Strange. I swear that we have. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Very well. It's apparent that the council is concerned for their safety. It pains me that the world has become such a terrible place that everyone has to be on guard. We once knew such a light. We once knew such light and joy, but now here we are, too scared to leave these walls. I'm happy to serve the Empire in whatever way the council needs me to. If I must be a guard, then so be it. Duty is not all there is to serving, my guardsmen. You must be prepared to think for yourself when the time calls for it. Ideally, she looks away from me, towards one of the many windows carved in the walls of stone. What do you think of the stars? The stars? I don't know. What, what to think about the stars? I see. I look towards the stars every night, wondering if they could ever fall from the heavens. Falling from the heavens? Is that even possible? It is possible. I have not seen it myself. I have not seen it myself. One day... One of those stars will fall. One day. Her eyes, despite how vacant they are, 
It seems sorrowful. I hear a certain longing in her voice. A tiny shred of emotion. Before then, I did not believe the, that words are adequate. Am I just to insist in you true... Uh, and still you still in you true understanding. You look like you're about to leave. I have one more favor to ask of you, though. Anything I can do to serve? Watch the stars tonight. I don't understand. Why would I do that? Stars can fall from the heavens, my dear guardsman. Why not just look at the stars tonight? Perhaps the star will fall. Very well. You have my word that I will watch the stars. Thank you. I'm sure that you have other places you need to be now. She leaves as quietly as she came, taking her tiny cat with her. I just stand there for a moment, trying to make sense of what she was talking about. Who is she anyway? Her very presence was overwhelming to be in. Oh well, I'll work it out later. Maybe she's the Empress. I'm going to get out of here. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. I haven't been able to sleep at all tonight once again. No one's words keep coming back to me. She spoke of the stars. Of stars being able to fall from the heavens. Could it even be possible? Nothing has ever fallen from the heavens before. Sneaking past my fellow sleeping nose as I look outside the tiny window of our barracks. The stars are always so clear in the sky. How could one of those distant lights plummet from the heavens? I wonder what a star actually is actually meant to be. Ah, Sniffy. They're so far away though. I'll never be able to see one up close. Does it really matter what they are? I'll find out what they mean one day. If I have to live another 200 years to find out what they mean, I will. What? How a lot of these people live? Well, that may be seemingly impossible to grasp. I must, I must not let that daunt me. All these glittering lights in the sky. Perhaps interest knows what the, the Empress knows what they are. This is all too much for me to handle tonight. It's like they're a hive of insects buzzing inside my head, telling me that I need to know with a thousand tiny voices. My foreign seeing has always come with an overwhelming curiosity. I'm always looking where I'm not supposed to, but now my gift cannot reveal any secrets for me. Maybe that's why I'm so frustrated by what the noble woman said. She's the only one who knows what I can't fi and I can't find a way to figure it out myself. Perhaps I'll never know what the stars truly are or if they mean anything. That does not mean I cannot enjoy the way they sparkle in the sky. Renlin, you're still awake? Gwen groggily emerges from her bed. She rubs her eyes before she looks at me again. You wouldn't be spying on anyone, would you? It just seems kind of suspicious that you're awake at this hour. Yet another accusation. I can't get a moment's peace no matter what time of day it is. Even Gwen is suspicious of me. Suspicious of me. It's not fair. I'm not Gwen. I just couldn't sleep. I've had a lot to think about. What are you thinking about then? It's not really something I can talk about. Then you were spying on someone. I should have known. You always deny it. I was not. You know full well what I look like when I'm far seeing. You didn't see me doing that, did you? But I haven't been awake this whole time. You could have been doing it before then. Why are you scolding me? Should it be Kira? Please lower your voice. You wouldn't want to get caught, would you? No, no, I don't. Besides, I wouldn't mind it if you were watching. <laughs> oh my! Ah, uh, yeah. What was that, Gwen? I, I didn't say anything. Why are we even having this conversation? We're saying nothing worthwhile to you. She, pff, I always hate when they do that. She's like, totally hitting on me. I'm like, we're not even talking about anything. I'm completely oblivious. All Gwen is doing is throwing around accusations. So, come on, Raylan. What's on your mind? There was this woman at the castle. She talked about things I didn't really understand. What did she talk to you about? And why did she talk to you in the first place? I was patrolling the halls to her, of her palace and she lost her pet. I helped her find it and she started speaking with me. I don't know why. She was confiding in me about something she thought about the council and other things. What did she look like? Silver hair, vacant gray eyes, pale as a wraith glimmering in the moonlight. Gwyn grows silent after hearing that. I see. What did she talk to you about, Raylin? Yeah, she knows who it is. She asked me if I what I thought about the. She asked me if I thought that stars could fall from the sky. I still understand why she asked that, though. I don't know either. Gwyn looks troubled by the news. She's usually quite knowledgeable about topics like these. It's no wonder why you're unable to sleep. No, I'm not going to be able to sleep either. I love a good mystery. I don't. She's speaking riddles. Why can't she just be straightforward and outright say what she means? She would have her reasons, I would guess. I wish I had the answers, Ray Lynn. It's alright. I'm sure we'll work this out eventually. Eventually. 
I'm go. I'm. It's going to bother. Uh, it's going to bother us until we work it out, though. Are you ready for lots of sleepless nights? Wink. I guess not, but I guess I have to cope with it. Anyway, I think we've talked enough. We should return to our beds soon. Imagine if Kira found us talking at this hour. I think I'd like to continue watching the sky. I'm heading back to bed. Make sure you aren't caught. When she returned to her bed, I can hear her whisper something. I don't really know what, though. Raylan, if you, if you spoke to who I think you spoke to, then chances are you're going to be her new champion. Nearly every, every legendary healer links back to her in some way. But I don't know for certain if that's really her. We'll have to wait and see. I told you the Empress. Try to draw closer to her in order to listen in, but it's no use. She's already stopped talking. I wonder what she's saying. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I think I'll continue to watch the sky. Will the star really fall? Probably not. I can't say for certain. Wait. What is that? Dun dun dun! As I look at the sky, I see a glowing shape. A streak of light across the sky. A great trail of luminous ribbons following it. Blah, following it. It's enormous too. Almost as if it's swallowing the entire night. One of the old legends I had read as a child describes a certain serpent which ate the night sky. I can't help but think of that as the glowing streak comes down towards the earth. As I look and wonder, the streak begins to grow larger and larger. Something is falling from the sky itself. But that could be possible. It can't happen. It's never happened before. But my eyes do not lie. Something is falling. Never before have I seen such a light. It's burning too. A great flaming star is dropping from the sky. The entire sky is filled with this light now. It's as if the sun has appeared in the sky, the night sky. My eyes widen as I recall that noble one, noble one, noble one's words. One day, one of those stars will fall. One day. She must have known it was coming. The very ground beneath me shakes the star drifts closer and closer to the ground. Armor plates and weapon racks begin to rattle too. Wait, what if it is the capital? Would we all be destroyed? No, I won't panic. I have to keep my cool in the face of any situation. There's nothing I can do but hope that it doesn't hit us. To my relief, it doesn't appear to be heading towards the capital. Plummeting towards the earth, I can I can hear the thundering crack of his impact somewhere beyond the city. It's enough to make the entire barracks wake up. Panic voices echo through the hall, everyone immediately reaching for their armor. What was that noise, Raylin? It was a star falling from the heavens. A star? Can that happen? I've never heard of this happening before. It's true, I've never heard of anything falling from the sky like this before. Is that own of some sort? I can't say for sure. You know what this means. It was an omen. The panic in the barracks has begun to worsen. Arms and armor armor are being widely thrown on. It's not long before everyone sta is standing at attention. Raylin, I would get to your bed. Kira will be walking in here any moment. But I can't tear my eyes away from the sky. A terrible sense of dread fills my entire being. What is going to come of this star? There are too many questions I don't know the answer to. Please return to your beds. There's nothing to panic about. Many whispers spread among the novices, doubting Kira's words. How is this nothing to worry about? Though willing to argue with their instructor, most of the novices begin to remove their hastily equipped armor and settle back into their beds. Kira notices them standing by the window. Go to bed, Raylan. That's all she has to say before I return to my bunk. I'm not satisfied with that, though. I think I'll take a moment to see what Kira is doing in her office. I can't let them panic. Things are bad enough in the city as it is. If our soldiers panic, then there won't be anyone left to keep order. The best course of action for now is to reassure them that nothing is wrong. I feel bad for lying to them, but it's necessary. So she's lying to us to stop us from panicking in order to keep order across the city in, in case we need to? I think I'd better look closer at the city then. See what kind of reaction they're having towards the star. As I look at the city, the reactions is about what I'm expecting. The people are running wild in the streets. The guards are trying their best to keep the populace calm. There's nothing to be concerned about. Please remain calm. His words <coughs> do <coughs> do little. I throw angry accusations at him. All the demand answers. Yet he has none to offer them. He slowly backs away his pole arm, pointing at the crowd. It's not long before the large angry mob is gathered. They can see numerous guards locking ranks and hold them back. Yet Kira tells them nothing, there's nothing to worry about. I would say there's definitely something to worry about. Alright, and that's it for this episode. Stuff's happening. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay toasty, my friends. 
Hey guys, I'm Sim and Toastkin, and welcome to Until Dawn! Finally! Yay! You guys have been asking me to play this game forever, and I've wanted to play the game forever too, and finally, we get to. And I just want to say thank you very much for your support. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, what had happened was I got in trouble with YouTube, so I couldn't upload videos longer than 50 minutes, and I didn't want to start playing Until Dawn and have like a bajillion parts. Like, we would still be, you'd still be watching Until Dawn, like halfway through it right now with me. But I guess that's better than not having all. Anyway, so we're gonna, we can do longer episodes now, and so we're gonna play this game. We're gonna do it. Starting a new story over at your current. Pro oh, I, I had just started the game just to see, make sure everything worked right. Uh, you lose any collectibles? Yes. Fancy. Right. Opening scene: cabin in the woods. A really big cabin. Maybe a hotel in the woods during a snowstorm. Some crazy girl just kind of dancing in front of the window, looking out. She's the crazy girl. Calling it. How do we even get here to begin with if it's so snowy? Have we been here for a while? Questions that need answering. That tree fell over. What happened to that tree? Oh, that guy probably chopped it down with his little knife. Little hand knife. It looks like this is a restaurant, maybe. I can't believe you actually did this. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and <sighs> just because All these people are gonna die. Doesn't mean if it's a horror movie, anyone. whoever's the meanest, they die. Hey, I'm, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Oh well. I look really worried. I'm the super nice blonde haired girl that's worried about everybody. Yeah. Hello? I'm alone. Hannah. Oh god, that face. Hannah! <laughs> oh god, what's... Another freaking scary face. What's wrong with everybody's <laughs> smiles? Shh. Like... Mike. Are you smiling? Oh, hey girl. It's the hot girl with glasses. Mike? Hannah, it's with Hannah. a H. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, girl. What's up? Oh, I'm the crazy girl. That's just sitting, looking out the window, while everybody's passed out behind me. And there's... Hey, maybe, hey, maybe! Did you see that? Yeah, there's somebody Why outside. Why just be us this weekend? Oh, okay, so it is a cabin. Josh. There's just a bunch of people. Everybody's, everybody's wearing, like, skin-tight jeans? So nice. Oh, I'm looking around. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. You guys just sleepy timing? Can I run? Oh. Beth! Ah, I hit some buttons and then my current objective is find out what the others are up to. Uh, Hannah's my best friend and Beth is just, you know, pretty, you know, wait. What about the R1? And then there's the... What is this? What is all this? The twins character info? Anyway, alright. Let's get back to whatever we're doing here, which is... Uh, yep, yeah, the camera angle changed and my controller's changed. Where's the shiny thing? Tutorial. Use the right stick to look around. Yeah, I can't invert my my looking. Oh well. So there's something here. Some booze. Press and hold R2. Okay. Got a bottle. Empty. Nice. Uh, hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Okay. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying. I'm tr there we go. Yeah, very nice. Whatever. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Let's smack him some more. He's got old man hands. Jesus, Josh. You're like 50 in your hands. Slender man on the wall back there. Okay. Oh, I found a note. It says, Hannah, you look so dang hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Our naive sister. Are they related? Oh! Glad you can make it. She's ready for some action! It's creepy smiles again. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Get him out! Oh, so mean. Oh, She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god! 
so. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, he didn't go too far. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. No, she's outside. No, Hannah. No. We gotta save Hannah. Tutorial: Use the right stick to choose. Use the right stick to choose what? Wake Josh. Find others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Josh wouldn't wake up anyway. He's Hannah! so drunk. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Tutorial, press the correct action button before the timer oh, runs out. Okay. Square. Did it. Oh, jumped over it. I could have slowed down. Uh, fast. Let's go fast. Ooh, triangle. Haha, <laughs> you almost got me, game. But these actions say I played Shimmyun 3. I know what's up. Uh, bring it on! I can't hit your buttons. I don't even know where she. Follow the footprints, follow the noise. Let's follow the noise. I'm sure it's gonna end up the same no matter what, right? Damn it, Hannah. I'm not even calling for him, I'm just running. There she goes. Am I moving here? Follow the shadow. <laughs> Yeah, what's that shadow over here? Let's see what's up with that. Oh, epic. Uh, use the touchpad as shown. Okay. Let me just... Call her? Oh, my flashlight, okay. Hannah! Ooh. Hannah! You can direct the people light using the right stick. No, oh, it's a deer. How about that? You hold L1 to walk faster. Yes, that's what I need. We can move that tush girl. Hello? Hello? Uh. Ooh. There's a thing. It's a shoe. Is it? What kind of shoe is that? No, that's not a shoe. It's like a freaking What the heck? Death totem? R1 for death totem? A new and his tribes with butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play determine Ah Ah, I see. So someone could die that way. Well. That's nice. What's breathing fire up there? Good lord! What is that? What, did I go this way? Hannah. Hannah. Hey, girl! Hello? What's up? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Don't worry, I'll Here, freeze instead. Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Yeah, you're so dumb. The predator's after us. Hannah? Time to run! Skedaddle! Hannah! <laughs> oh, Hannah. Get up. Oh, you dropped your, your phone. Oh, no, we're at the end of the road. Hold on, girl! Dang, I must be tough. That's icy... that icy stick that I'm holding on to. 
What the heck Hold is that? On. <laughs> Breathing fire. Hold on. Oh man! Oh, he wants my hand. Uh, uh, uh let go. <laughs> oh, that happened! Oh, it happened! Oh! Oh, we're both dead. Oh, no! Maybe I should've just dropped her. But I thought we would've... Oh, The analyst. Dr. A.J. Hill. <sighs> Before we begin... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You okay. see, no one can change what happened last year. No, so we're going to go back in. Beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. So the, so the one that I made now doesn't matter? I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game, oh. every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Oh, get back. Don't breathe in my face like that. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Oh, yeah? And terrifying. Oh, I'm hype it up to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Okay. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. I mean, I feel kind of weird about you. You make a bunch of weird faces. Answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Do it. Stop smiling at me. Ooh, my gloves. Who knows who I am? Alright. It's, uh... Oh, what the heck? Pick it up. Flip it. Flip it over. It's a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, it makes me feel uneasy, actually. It's just... Okay, honesty is good. Yeah. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Your face is what makes me feel freaking easy. It's a scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Yeah. Sure. I like farms. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oh. I'd be scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Yeah. Do you agree on what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Yeah. Please remember, this is only a game. Okay. Weirdo. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Okay. This guy's weird. <laughs> you can go back and stand by the window again. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Full tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. There yeah. Any client who's in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington. The yeah, we were dead. Were still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. 
There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Hmm. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the Hey, ground. it's the old weird small girl again. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank More you than you know, Marty. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. At least my finger those are pretty. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. <laughs> hey. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back. To this guy's out of it. <laughs> Winter getaway. Ah! Yeah. So, um, let me just let you know. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means. It means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e, each and every one of you <laughs> and uh, <laughs> share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and... Oh, he's the brother, okay. You know. Okay, so... Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one what kind of What kind of we'll party would that forget, be? All right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Party like we're porn stars. Sounds like a good time. All right, Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. We're here at the Blackwood Pines to... Go back to where everybody died, I guess. Hey, there he is, already. If it's... I don't know, maybe maybe the guy's actually trying to help. And, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Hannah's... This is Sam. Hannah's best friend. Consider it an adventurous. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Got you. Hello? Hello? Someone there? Just the animals in the woods, or maybe the wind, the snow, or... Path to Cable Car Station. Okay. Well, let's walk fast. Oh, the gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? <laughs> Damn it. Climb over? Am I supposed to do that? But it's cold. I took the note. Nobody. Who? How, how is everybody else going to figure out how to how to do it? Let's be. Uh, let's be safe. Because this this is very dangerous. Yeah. Square. Uh, oh, circle. That looked like a square for a little bit. Uh, just climb. It's okay. Triangle. Ooh, so cold. Square. Yay. Jeez. Yeah, the shape girl. Actually, it would be really freaking hard to climb that. She <laughs> did an amazing job. A freaking icy stone wall. Yeah, that probably hurt. That was, that was quite a jump. Twist the ankle. Alright. So, let's go. Oh, it's a squirrel! Hey, little fella. When you see, don't move icon on the screen. Keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Okay. Don't move. <laughs> Yeah, squirrel! A wild squirrel. That would never happen. That squirrel would never walk up to you. It'd be like, nah, I'm out of here. You're unsure what to do next. You can press, see your current by pressing R1. Okay. I'm just walking through the woods, you know? All alone at night because that's when you show up to places like this is at night. You don't go during the day. Smart person. Indians! Prophecies. <laughs> These people, cool. butterfly prophecies. Okay, let's see. Death, black butterflies. Oh, that girl had a black butterfly on her arm. Hannah did at the beginning. Danger butterflies. Uh, loss. Brown butterflies foretold tragic 
fa tragedy affecting friends, yellow butterflies offer vision, uh, white butterflies brought dreams, luck, and good fortune. Okay. So, that's important, I guess. Oh, it's a death totem. Totem artifact, speaking totem up, turning it will reveal the color. A colored butterfly. Ah. Okay. Well, how do you, uh, let's see what this, this old totem has to say about the future. It's a black one. No, what was it? Yellow? That was yellow. A guidance totem. Okay. I got you. So, something about a bird and a guy hiding behind a... I don't know. Future is uncertain whether or not prophecy come true depends on the choices you make! Hooray. No oh, bag. Not in the bag, are you? Are you in the bag? Hello. What do we have here? Ooh, a phone. Uh, better snoop! Aha! Aha! Look who it is. Yeah, Ashley. He knows it. Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective and humorous, methodical, and creepy. Everybody's faces are creepy in this game. I, I'm sorry. Are Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Mmm, she sent you nudes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to look. Oh, so I found something kinda amazing. Uh-huh. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Blow my mind. I don't believe you. It's gonna be average at best. What is this? A wanted poster, hmm? Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta da! Ta da! Pretty red, right? Pretty red. What is it? Yeah. Come on. Look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Oh, yeah. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah, who would leave a gun outside in the snow like that? Like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, mm. now you go ahead, Grizzly. Doesn't make any sense all right. at all. Here goes. Is it loaded? Oh, here we go. Use the right stick to aim, press R2 to shoot. Alright, so you want me to shoot... ...that? This is a shotgun, by the way. <laughs> Shooting. Yeah, I guess it's. Yeah, it's skinny enough. Never mind. Oop. Pew! Shot the can! Pew! Shot that can! Alright. Wow! Wow! Nice shooting right. text. I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. I mean, for real, after shooting like four in a row, it's begun luck? Nah. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <gasps> oh no, not the squirrel. No, you're not shooting the squirrel, sir. No. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Yeah, we're not shooting that squirrel. We are the squirrel protectors. Butterfly effect update. Am I Chris now? Sweet. I'm Chris. Cool. Yeah. Door's uh, locked. Oh, no. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Mm. Creepy. People sleep in the station. It's cold outside. Come on. People gotta sleep somewhere. Right? Yeah? After you. Oh, real gentleman. Get tired of your sarcasm. It'd be nice here. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. 
Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Yeah. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Ooh, is that a p picture of the jacuzzi? No, no. Huh? Is something moving? No, okay. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of getting tired of the shooting. How long is it going to take? It's a big mountain. Sleeping giant. What? You're pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Enter the car. Enter the car. There we go. I'm just like going to the prom. Mm hmm. Begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. Yeah. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. Yeah, nothing bad can happen. He really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. Yeah, no. I haven't seen him Which so one? excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, <laughs> Magical. Friends, to this day. <laughs> Imagine made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boom. Oh, hey, it's Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. And she's creepy. Look at her. She's like... Hi. Boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Oh. Meet and greet. Meh. Meh. Look at my butt. Meh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yes. Don't worry. I'm holding it. Do I let it go? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my I God. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Whoa. 
Drama. Drama. Really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out. I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, <laughs> you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh, <laughs> Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop uh. It just, it just, uh, you see, it, this view, it just, uh, it just gets me. Lodge, like, right where the cable car ends. Oh, Emily, Mike's ex. Why is she here? Oh, I guess she was I'll there last time. Mike is pretty. This is Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Active, motivated, oh. ambitious. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, God. I'm sorry, guy that has to carry the bags. I feel bad for you already. I mean, carry the bags is okay, but where, where's the bad boy? Come there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Jump scares. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're a kidder. You're driven. They're all intelligent, apparently, and persuasive. <laughs> Sounds like a like an ad. You guys, Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Yeah, we're just like in the woods, spooky. What? <laughs> harmless fun that got girls killed. Things. The spirit of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Yeah. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. <laughs> so we're good? All good. All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? No. Next? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. No? Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? No, I'm gonna protect you from cheating on me. And come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't no. leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question yeah. everything yeah. I say? I'm guilty. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Don't trust her. And there's Ashley has a crush on everybody has a crush. She's academic, not intelligent. <laughs> or whatever. What are we doing here? What are we looking for? Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Yep. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I thought. I get maybe they're just arguing about it. But he's like, come on, girl. Oh, oh, God. oh hey. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. 
sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Jeez Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, oh my well, gosh. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me yeah. check it out. Take a look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Yeah, busted. <laughs> oh, man. Don't talk about. Stir the drama up. Stir it up. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna pause it right here. <laughs> I think that should be about enough for a 30 minute episode, I believe. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Until Dawn. Everything's kind of slow. We're getting started, but it'll be better. It's okay. Don't worry. I will see you guys in the next episode. Till then! Happy birthday. And stay toasty, my friends. <laughs>